material back and forth across the canyon. They had a regular crane here until it fell over the wind. Now the people on the left hand side, you're going to get your first look at the dam. Arizona side, right in front of us is where the bridge is going to connect on the Nevada side. Now it is going to be the longest concrete steel arched suspension bridge in the country. Now if people don't know what a suspension bridge is. A suspension bridge, it connects to one side, it connects to the other side, and it has no center support. Right here, this conglomeration of steel and that is going to be where the bridge is going to connect on the Nevada side, the bottom of the arch. And the same way over on the Arizona side. And right up there where those guys are, that's where the roadway is going to be. So it's going to be an arched suspension bridge. Okay, we'll be parking in the parking garage here. In a few minutes. Oh, by the way, if any that, because they don't want the power lines scraping on the sides of the canyon when the wind blows. Oh, by the way, the people on the right hand side, if you see the white bus down there, don't worry about it. That was last week. <laughs> Over here on the left front side, you see that about five dollars a day, not an hour.
There are two Pelton water wheels here at Hoover Dam, one housed within each wing of the power plant. This is our Hoover Dam because it was installed in the 1930s by an Italian family, the Martina family. And at that time, to install approximately 120,000 square feet of the flooring throughout the dam, the cost was a mere $60,000. 